All right, welcome everyone to Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. My partner is Michelle Krosmer. So today's question was asked was really, what vitamin supplements uh, when it comes to kidney disease do you really want to avoid? Or if you do end up taking, you want to kind of take them with caution. So Michelle, what do you think? Yeah, so this is always a tricky question because we're always talking about how things need to be individualized. But from a, um, we'll just vitamins in this episode and then we'll get to supplements and or other supplements in another one. Um, but a couple of things that you definitely want to be cautious of. Um, number one is vitamin C. So in general, high dose vitamin C supplementation is not recommended for people with kidney disease. So usually that is over like 200 to 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Um, this is, you know, there's a higher risk of, um, you know, oxalate formation, kidney stones, um, being formed with high dose vitamin C supplementation in people with kidney disease. So I'd say that's one, um, that you really want to be careful of. And sometimes, or a lot of times vitamin C and high doses can be found in multivitamins or they, it can be found in like a super B complex. And then it just has this extra, okay, we're giving you this um, you know, antioxidant boost with high vitamin C. And that's what people want to be cautious of. And in general, avoid taking large doses of that vitamin C. Um, other ones to be cautious with, there is some, you know, I guess, controversy on, on the evidence on it, but some of the fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A and vitamin E where a toxicity, there's a higher risk of toxicity. That's something you want to be cautious with. And that's oftentimes why a general multivitamin is not recommended across the board for people with kidney disease. Cause it oftentimes will contain those fat soluble vitamins that can potentially build up in someone who has decreased kidney function. So I would say for that, um, you know, your vitamin A, your vitamin E, you would want to be cautious of that and ideally not supplement that unless your doctor or your renal dietitian is recommending that. And um, another one that I would say another vitamin specifically to be careful with is calcium. And we talked about calcium in a past episode, so you guys can always go back and reference that. But we, people with kidney disease are at a higher risk of calcification. And so um, based on your diet, as well as the supplement, then you potentially wouldn't want to take a calcium supplement. And that might vary depending on the stage, but that's definitely one that I would uh, double check. And then um, we do have another episode on, actually we have a couple of other episodes on different vitamins that I would recommend you guys check out because it really will come down like specifics beyond that. It might be recommended for someone, not recommended for someone else, but vitamin C, um, a, E, calcium, I'd say those are the ones to be most cautious with, and then always check with your physician and renal dietitian. Um, we're going to talk about supplements and, you know, other supplements, but from a vitamin specific standpoint, Dr. Hashmi, do you have anything to add to that? No, I think this is a great segue into our next video, which is all going to be about what are the supplements to avoid when it comes to CKD. All right. Stay tuned, you guys.